Joe, you've got to come downstairs now, darling. Where did you put your library book? Well, more to the point. Where did you father put your library book? Oh, there it is. Ooh. Gotcha. It's all right, I've got it, darling. I've just dropped Joe off at school and I'll be in as soon as I can. Yeah, I'll see you later. Sarah. Sorry, I didn't mean to start with you. <laughs> and you are? Adele, I, I live just down the road. We did meet briefly a few weeks back. Of course. I love your outfit. It's Emerson Black. <laughs> yes. It's one of my favourite designers. This is one of his? Oh, gorgeous. Very sexy. Oh, <laughs> thank you. At least some of us around here have class. I know what you mean. Richard and I were actually talking about you this morning. Richard? It's my partner. Of course. We're dying to have you and Daniel around for dinner. I, I just had no idea we had so much in common. Right. You aren't free tonight, are you? Tonight? I know, I know. It's ridiculously short notice, but Richard is working on this celeb divorce case and they're insisting on flying him out to LA next week. And hey, <laughs> you know what these people are like. It's terrible timing, but if you could make it, uh, can I get back to you? Yeah, of course, absolutely. Just um, give me a call when you can. I really hope you can make it. Me too. They're lawyers, Daniel. Very successful lawyers. Our kind of people. How do you know? Well, she was wearing an Emerson Black ensemble. Well, that's it. Just because she was wearing a designer outfit. Well, not just any designer. Have you been listening to a word that I've been saying? Yes. It's a chance for us to get to know our neighbours. Look, it's two o'clock, OK? We're not going to find a babysitter for tonight. <laughs> How hard can it be? Well, we're not exactly sport for choice, are we? You refused to pay Annette. Uh, she did not deserve it. The two before her, you've insulted. We must be able to find someone. I could do it. Hmm. What did you just say? I could do it. I said the, uh, he could babysit for you. Why would you be willing to give up your Friday night to babysit a five-year-old? Sorry, I'm just trying to be kind. Kind? Are you for real? <laughs> Forget about it. He's completely unsuitable. Oh, that's a bit harsh. The last time he went into my house, the place ended up falling with press. No, no, no. There was one reporter and one photographer, right? He is not babysitting my child. No, well, if there's no one else. No, no, no. If she doesn't want me to, well... It would have been fun. There must be someone else. Well, I'll have two o'clock on a Friday afternoon. That gives us five hours. But look, if you don't want to go... Well, I didn't say that. <laughs> but Husky, looking after Joe... <laughs> you sure you can look after a five-year-old? Yeah, how hard can it be? Oh, are you kidding? We'll just play computer games. He'll lose. Um, he'll get bored, he'll fall asleep, and then I'll, I'll just have my way with their fridge. I cannot believe I let you talk me into this. What do you think? Check this. What is it? Instructions for Al. Not that he's going to pay any attention to them. I doubt he'll even read them. Well, he'll be fine. It's your idea. But not Al. We should lock up anything breakable. Oh, he's trying to do us a favour. What, you believe that, do you? It's a nice gesture. Why can't you accept it? Because there's something going on. This is why you don't make friends. Well, I can make friends. You don't trust anyone. You never give anyone the benefit of the doubt. I do! No, sometimes... You have to understand, people are just trying to do a nice thing. Oh, use this. Thank you. Promise me something. Tonight, whatever happens, we'll have fun, yes? You look great. Thank you. So do you. Edible, in fact. Mm, that's going to have to wait. Or what if I don't want to wait? Mm. <sighs> Perfect timing. Yeah, it is. 7.30. I just know I'm going to regret this. Candles. Why not? Well, I'm just not sure they're candle people. She is, definitely. How do you know? I <laughs> just do. Uh, we don't really know anything about them. We know enough. Yeah, where it matters, I suppose. Still... What? Well, you said that she was prickly. She was late for school. I'd be prickly. Mm. Didn't stop her noticing my outfit, though. Oh, yeah. You're talking about the designer. <laughs> Maybe they are our kind of people. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, bedtime 8.15, no bedtime snack, one story. Mm, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I got it, I approve. Not yada, 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 blah, 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 Al. I want those instructions followed to the letter. To the letter. OK, he's in his pyjamas. 
What are you doing? I'm checking for contraband. Sorry. No, it's not a problem. Cho is not allowed any of these. And what is this? Hey, look, this is my dinner. And I presume that you, you didn't want me drinking beer. If you want one, they're in the fridge. No, the fizzy drink will be fine, but none for Joe. Yeah, that's number nine. No drinks, only milk. Oh, you are kidding me. I will only play it after he's gone to bed, Nick. You will love that. I'll, I'll lend it to you. You can play this. Right, but only for 20 minutes. That's number 18. Why are you doing this, Al? What are you up to? Remember what we said about giving people the benefits of the doubt? Sarah, I'm just doing a favour for a mate. A mate? And we really appreciate it. Thank you. You, you have a, a lovely evening. OK. Mates, darling? We are going to trust people and we're going to have a good time. Yes. Whatever happens, promise? Fine. I promise. dress. Thank you. It's so sexy. It's one of my own. I've run a boutique label on the side. I've got a wardrobe full upstairs. We could try some on later. I'd love it. Not that you need to. That dress is fabulous. <laughs> this old thing. That caught Richard's eye. I uh, saw him giving you the once over when you came in. Oh, well, no harm in turning heads. I saw Daniel looking at you too. You don't mind? Well, of course not. I'd be worried if he wasn't looking. I just love the fabric. And the cut is perfect. Really compliments your figure. Thank you. Absolutely nothing wrong with the tall handicap. Not as good as yours, though. Well, a bit of practice, I'm sure you'd improve. You're obviously fit. Mm -hmm. Do you golf? We could do a foursome. I've honestly never seen the point of a sport where you have to wait for the ball to stop before you can hit it. <laughs> I agree. And it's a really great way to socialise. Fresh air, exercise. The bars of the great outdoors. I really didn't see you as a mum. You're far too glamorous. <laughs> and what about you? Two businesses and you've got a six-year-old. Richard does a lot of the childcare. As does Daniel. And we're very firm with Galileo. Galileo? After the astronomer? Yeah. Well, once it's his bedtime, that's it. He never comes downstairs. Ever. If we were at our house, we wouldn't be able to keep Joe away, would we? That's not true. We're very strict with him. You are. Actually, he's very well behaved. Mind you, with the nightmare of a babysitter we've got this evening, who knows what we'll find when we get home. Oh, I'm sorry. It was Daniel's idea. He'll be fine. Well, we're very grateful to your nightmare babysitter. And so are we, because it's meant that we can come out and have a great time with our neighbours, doesn't it, darling? Yes, darling. I love blue eyes. So do I. When I was a teenager, they made me go weak at the knees. <laughs> He's quite a catch. Well, we both are. Mm. You're very lucky. So are you. Oh, you mean Richard? Well, a lot of women would be very jealous. Richard, I think we're going to have to keep our eye on these two. Well, perhaps they'd better keep an eye on us. <laughs> I can see why you'd want to rip his clothes off in the park. If he was mine, I'd be at it all the time. So you've seen the paper? Saw a point. A bit. No, no, I refuse to feel bad about what we did. Good, good for you. Why should you? Well, if it hadn't been for that nosy old cow, then no one would ever have known. Well, she's the one with the problem anyway. You're so obsessed with people's sex lives in this country. Oh, so hypocritical. Yeah, but it's everywhere. It's television, advertising, social media, like nothing else matters. The Japanese think we're ridiculous. The Japanese? <laughs> Richard and I were posted there for a couple of years. Mm, changed our lives. They don't really have a concept of sin when it comes to relationships, so no one gets moralistic about sex. Shinto, it's not like Western religion. You see, the whole idea of guilt associated with sex just doesn't exist. In fact, sex is regarded as thoroughly good. <laughs> Sounds like my kind of a place. <laughs> <laughs> you must be down the gym all the time. Oh, he does a lot of exercise. Uh, we both do. Well, being parents clearly isn't cramping your style. She's right, you look great, both of you. Mm. What kind of exercise do you do? I run. Well, so do I. We could go together. I hate running. Me too. What else? 
Uh, tennis, cycling, mostly golf at the moment. No one gets muscles like these playing golf. <laughs> Are you that muscular all over? <clears throat> Adele? Uh, I used to be, not so much anymore. <laughs> It must have been amazing. <laughs> Richard. Uh, perhaps some water? What? No. Are you all right? Uh, fine. Why? Adele gets a bit carried away. I noticed. It's just nerves. She drinks more than she should. <laughs> Don't we all? Well, you seem to handle it all right. I can drink anyone under the table. That sounds like a challenge. If you think you're up for it. What are you doing? Well, isn't it obvious? What with everyone downstairs? Is that a problem? Look, Richard, I am going to give you the benefit of the doubt because I like you and I like Adele. Adele likes you too. So why don't we just go downstairs and have some fun, okay? It suits me. Can we talk boundaries? Boundaries? I like to feel safe. I don't think you need to worry. Still, although we did at first. I'm sure everyone does. Well, mostly about Joe. Joe? Yeah, well, we didn't have any proper boundaries. No fencing, nothing. We had to put it all in when we moved in. Although we didn't put it all in. We had a firm. Yeah, they gave us quotes for everything. Sensors, cameras, all sorts of equipment. <laughs> Lots of things we didn't need. Yeah, it's a really safe neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> you two are hilarious. It totally had me. Sorry? Richard and I have had a chat. We've decided we're good. And what about you? Have you made a decision? About what? I mean, do you feel compatible? <laughs> I hope so. I think we've been together long enough. <laughs> she means, do you feel compatible with us? With you? You said you liked Adele. I do. Great. <laughs> we like to mix things up. Both ways. It adds a bit of spice. But if you prefer it straight... We're easy either way. <laughs> Sorry. Did you think that... Is that why you wanted us to come to dinner? Well, you are swingers, aren't you? <laughs> but I don't understand. I thought you knew. I'm so sorry. This is all our fault. You kept saying how sexy I am. Your dress. I meant your dress. We went on about my figure. It's lovely to look at from afar. What about sex in the bushes? What? And everything you said about being free and unashamed. And, and doing it in the great outdoors. That's what you meant about the golf, the, the, the foursome. Oh, come on, what did you think I meant? Oh, you two would love it. It's very exciting. Well, it's just not for us, you know, with other people. Well, not that there's anything wrong with it, of course. No, we're not judging you. It just, we are way too conventional. What about the website? Should we get home to Joe? Yes, sorry. I'm Ben. Ben. He tried to kiss me. Why don't you say something? Because you told me to give people the benefit of the doubt. And then I said, why don't we just go back to where you and Adele were and have some fun? Well, no wonder they thought we were up for it. And I said there's nothing wrong with sex. It's perfectly natural. There was all that stuff about Shinto and, uh, and Japan. I thought they were talking about culture, not, you know... Something's wrong. Al? Has anything happened? I'll check on Joe. Alistair, what are you doing? Just, uh, just tidying up. Why? What happened? Uh, no trouble with Joe, no, no problemo at all. How is he? He's fine, he's fast asleep. So nothing happened? Nothing at all? Nope. You did check that he's still alive? Please. <sighs> okay, I give up. What's going on? Well, you know what they say. <laughs> Kindness is its own reward. Well, that doesn't make any sense at all. But then nothing this evening has made much sense. Where's the vase? The, the vase kind of broke. And were you going to mention this or just hope that we didn't notice? Well, I didn't want to dob Joe in, did I? He was playing. I told him to be careful, but he bumped into it and I almost caught it. It was in my fingertips, but it, it, it smashed to smithereens. Just as well. Just as well what? 
It was hideous. Marion gave it to us. You set? Yeah. Night, Dr. Carmichael. Night, Dr. Alistair. Did you have a good night? Uh, had its moments. Uh, I didn't expect you back so soon. Well, you know, uh, look, I just want to say how much uh, I appreciate this. No, go buy me a beer sometime. OK. Zara does too. She just can't say, you know. Yeah, it's not a problem at any time. Really? Yeah, w when I say any time... <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> I cannot believe we didn't see that coming. The way that she was ogling you. She was practically touching you up. And you. <laughs> oh, my. <gasps> she invited me up to her bedroom to try on dresses in her bedroom. I said yes. Did you? <laughs> what about me telling the guy I thought he was really fit? <laughs> and is it true they have orgies on, on golf courses? Is that even possible? Maybe on a weekday. Oh, this is all our fault, actually, because I must have told her 15 times how sexy she looked in that dress. You were talking about the dress? Yeah, yeah of course. Mind you, she did have a gorgeous body. Yeah. He had quite a sexy body, too, come to think of it. Oh? Well, are you not telling me that you weren't tempted? Just a little bit. No. No. Not really. Not really? Were you? Were you? Maybe. Just a little bit. Oh. Are you really telling me that you weren't tempted? I mean, for a second or two, maybe. But we'd never go through with it, would we? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Would we? <laughs>